chairman of the Highway Subcommittee and a, a great ally and someone who understands the aviation industry and the general aviation like nobody else uh, in Congress, uh, my good friend from Missouri, Mr. Graves. The chairman from Missouri is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker is one of the only professional pilots in Congress. I rise today in strong support of this long-awaited FAA reauthorization bill, and I was happy to work closely with the chairman, ranking member, and all of our Senate counterparts to reach a compromise, uh, the compromise legislation that we have today. We're finally providing our aviation programs the much-needed long-term certainty that they uh, they desire, and I'm excited about a number of policies, including the bill um, that I advocated for. Just quickly. Um, I secured language to prevent new taxes targeting consumers who rent cars at the airport. My aviation workforce development bill to encourage people to pursue careers in aviation as technicians and mechanics is included. I secured fixes on how the FAA regulates living history flight experience flights. We finally ended the egregious FAA fees on large aviation events such as Sun and Fun and Oshkosh air shows. We extended aircraft registration from three to seven years. We directed the FAA to restore all makes and models certificate for experimental aircraft. Building an aircraft in your hangar now will be considered aeronautical use of that hangar. And there are many, many other things that I can't include in my limited amount of time. But as we approach key milestones in the program in 2020 and beyond, my colleagues and I on the committee are remain, uh, will remain committed to holding the FAA accountable and ensuring the goals of next gen are uh, achieved. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I could go on, but uh, obviously time doesn't allow. I would yield back the balance of my time. Thank you.